Tracks Tracks Extra starts now. Powered by Perry Holmes. Hey, this is Tyler Hodge. You're listening to Cougar Sports Saturday. Go Cougars. All right, welcome on in. It is a special edition of Cougar Sports Saturday midweek as we walk you up to BYU versus UCLA. Dave Noriega, Alex Curie right here in studio with you during the week to chat a little bit about BYU and UCLA. A lot of hype on this one after everybody was able to uh, stomach the, uh, the loss on Saturday to Utah. The targeting calls all over the internet, the write-ups of targeting calls that KSL.com has uh, <laughs> seen throughout the week. Some for it, some against it, some don't agree with the call. That being said, Kainakua uh, not going to be playing in the first half of the game on Saturday. Neither is Austin McChesney, Dave. Uh, obviously, that worries people because Josh Rosen is starting to come into his uh, previously hyped self. He's starting to be a pretty decent quarterback. I still don't know what he's going to present problem-wise for BYU, though. I thought you just got done bad-mouthing him. I mean, we come into the studio and you're like, Josh Rosen overrated, that guy's terrible. <laughs> It's not about, but well, but now, but okay, now, Josh all, Rosen is like the number one draft pick in the NFL next well, year. Well, no, all I'm saying is that he's a lot better than, let's say, the. You remember the shootout, quote unquote, last year between the two freshmen, right? And Josh Rosen was by far supposed to be the superior uh, version of the quarterback that we were going to see, or of the quarterbacks at, at the Rose Bowl last year between he and Tanner Mangum, and Tanner Mangum way outperformed him, but BYU takes the one point loss. And it was on the back of uh, Paul Perkins running. but And Paul Perkins ran for 200-plus yards. Yeah, I mean, Paul Perkins yeah, yeah. was absolutely unbelievable. He he graduated and went on to the NFL. So do, do they have that passing game uh, without that running game? And that's kind of the big question. I don't know if we've, we've seen from UCLA so far this season uh, a passing game. Uh, attack that is as dominant as their running attack was last year they tried to throw the ball and then what happened Kainakua intercepted everything Harvey Longy intercepted everything but that's the problem too is that Kainakua out for the first half they're obviously going to take advantage of Kainakua being out of the secondary not just as a uh as a presence that can pick you off but he's also kind of this emotional leader on the on the defense there too and you got to rely on a guy like Butch Pau'u. you got to rely on Harvey Longy, obviously, who's the other defensive captain. And uh, I think that his presence not being there, kind of cool, is going to be huge because they're going to try to take advantage. Jim Moore Jr., my heavens, that guy, he knows who's going to be missing. They're going to act like they don't know who these guys are. They know exactly who the best defenders are on BYU's team. So going into this, I'm going to take you all the way back, Dave, to media days during the summer. We asked Taysom Hill and Jamal Williams the most important games on the schedule for them. For Taysom Hill, it was two of them. It was the first game of the season because if he was back, it meant he was healthy and he's starting, and that would be a significant milestone. It was Utah, too, because he felt helpless during that that game. And then he just said the entire season is going to be important after that, but those two games are definitely there. Uh, He's already gotten through those two games. He's one and one as a quarterback. But Jamal Williams, if you'll recall, said UCLA. It's his home team. That's where his mom went to school, ran track. That's, uh, you know, he's got those family ties there. But he said that this game is going to mean a lot to him because he knows what it's like to have not gone to UCLA. He wanted to come to BYU. He came back for an extra season at BYU. It means more to him. Is Jay Swag Daddy up to the task? Is he healthy enough to be able to make uh, an impact? He didn't get to play last year, and boy, he was missed. Well, the only thing that we've seen from from uh, Jamal Williams, uh, the only person that's been able to slow him down is himself. Yeah. I mean, every time he hits the field, he dominates. He plays so well, and he's done this really since his freshman season. But – the things that slowed him down is either personal issues off the field or injuries on the field. Yeah. And he had that catastrophic knee injury as a junior, gets suspended, withdraws from school uh, last year. And then this year, he just started on fire. He's been playing amazingly, but then he gets injured at the end of the Utah game. And, and really, in my opinion, cost him the game. Because what happens? How dare he? How could he do something again? Like it's that not it's not his fault, but the the fact that the BYU didn't have him 
as the threat on that final drive. The fact that Taysom Hill couldn't read option him on that two-point conversion and, and you know, just give another look. Everybody in the entire stadium and in the nation knew that Taysom Hill was going to try to punch it in. <laughs> that no one except Taysom Hill was going to run that ball into the end zone. But when you have Jamal point- in the backfield, then there's the question of who's keying on him, who's exactly. going to be keying on Taysom. So uh, the nebulous answers this week, of course, from Coach Kalani Sitake about uh, injuries, taking a note out of the – massive uh, no-comment playbook of Kyle Whittingham from his time probably at Utah. But that's what big programs do. They go, yeah, I don't have much to say about that guy and his injury. I'm, I'm not going to talk to you guys about it. And then kind of move on. But uh, whether or not Jamal Williams is going to be 100% for this Saturday, he says he is. Of course he will. But as his uh, running back coach, Reno Mahe, said, look, you got to protect players from players. And if he's really hurt right. – they got to make sure that, that that he's taken care of first. All right. Uh, more breakdown, of course, this week. We're going to try to hit you up uh, before Saturday with another little something, a little tidbit uh, from what coaches are saying this week. Hit us up on Twitter in the meantime, at Alex Curie KSL, at Dave Noriega. And on Cougar Sports Saturday, this Saturday, tune in to KSL News Radio uh, on the radio version. And we'll, of course, drop the podcast as well a little bit later. So for Dave Noriega, I'm Alex Curie. We'll check you guys next time.